So obviously we're in detuning and we're playing the song Reuben and I've got another one of those fixed position licks or, or rolls. It's a different roll pattern but you're holding the, the left hand position the same. Uh, and I've heard Ron Stewart do this particular uh, break and some other folks too. Uh, almost everybody does some sort of uh, break there where you're holding the D7 position. So on the third fret uh, we've got the second and third string down. And then you can vary your roll pattern. So the roll pattern that I that, that I really liked, that I was trying to copy. I finally figured it out after a long time. And then once I figured it out, it still took me, you know, several days to, to get it ingrained in my fingers to, to be able to do it correctly. But you're starting, uh, you're kind of sliding into the third string, third fret. And then you start a forward backward roll. Okay, and then you go to, to a forward roll. Uh, and you keep doing the same pattern. You do a forward roll and then you, you have to break it up by catching the, uh, after the fifth string, you catch the um, second string and then you start over with the third, uh, three, two, one. All right, so let me try it a few times and play it for you real slow. It's once again, it's hard to describe. You just kind of have to, to hear it and see it and, and figure it out. And I'll try to get it close up here on my fingers on my right hand in just a second, but you slide in. same way you, you usually end uh, any kind of low uh, low position break that you're doing on Ruben. All right, so let's slide into it again, and I'll either explain it or play it really slow here. I'll try to get a close up. Try that again. backward roll and then you start a uh, forward roll so then you go after you hit the third string you go back to the two one five That's enough to, to get it. Uh, so forward, backward roll, and then forward. So after you hit the fifth string, after you do the forward roll one time, you come back to the fifth string, and then you go to the second, and then you start it over with the three, two, one. Hopefully that's enough. Uh, and if you're watching on YouTube and you've got uh, everything updated, you can go to the settings there and change it to half speed. And you can see me do it even slower if you need to. It's about as slow as I can do it because I kind of have to hear it and feel it. So if I slow it down too much more, I kind of lose it. So but I'll try it one more time. Put 
some dynamics on it. You start, maybe start up here in the wide position a little bit more, and real soft, and then you, you keep building it. And if you can work it out, if you emphasize that first string when you get to it. So it starts to sound, uh, sound real punchy there. So give it a try. Hopefully that'll work out for you. I really like that break. Hope you guys do, do too. All right. See ya.